Smash Drunk. There's a lot of weird Super Famicom games that were never released outside of Japan, but there weren't too many weirder than Yamuyam. Not only is this game thematically strange, featuring original characters like this little mole guy riding a giant duck destroying bizarre looking enemies, but you didn't see too many rail shooters back in this era. This one was clearly influenced by games like Space Harrier, and most certainly influenced by Panorama Cotton for the Sega Mega Drive, which I took a look at a while back. Yamu Yum was developed by Pandora Box in 1995, and they were known for developing two somewhat prominent RPGs before this game, Arabian Nights and Magic Knight Ray Earth, both really solid titles. And sure enough, Pandora Box sticks to the RPG format to a certain extent, because not only is Yamu Yum a pretty fun rail shooter, but it's chock full of that typical RPG stuff, like going to different villages and talking to people, buying items and upgrades at shops, and racking up tons of gold and experience through combat. That sounds awesome, right? Well, there's two big problems. One is that there is no English translation for this game yet. And there is a lot of story and subsequent dialogue here, plus lots of choices and options that you gotta deal with, so yeah. If you decide to try and play this one, you'll be stumbling around a bit before you figure out what to do and how to do it. The thing is though, the structure in this game is pretty dang confusing, and really, something tells me this would be confusing even if this were in English. You start with six different locations to choose from, and each place has at least three villagers you can talk to, as well as a shop to buy stuff using the gold you collect from zapping enemies. You usually need to talk to at least one of the villagers who talks to you for a bit and leaves, presumably to give you a mission of some kind. Anyway, when you get through whatever stage you pick, and each one only lasts a couple minutes, then you go back to the village and you go to the next villager who presumably says something like, hey, do what you just did for that guy, except for me. And so you do. If you don't get through the stage, then that same person you just talked to yells at you and tells you that you have to do it again. The gameplay here is what carries this one, and really what it boils down to is either you like rail shooters like this or you don't. I love rail shooters, everything from Star Fox to Panzer Dragoon, so I dig the gameplay here, but I have to admit the controls here are a bit, uh, inexact, I would say. It can be tough to get a feel for how the position your character takes corresponds to where an enemy in the distance is located. It's one of those things that's entirely based on feel, and you gotta play for yourself to see if that feel agrees with you. If it doesn't, oh well, but if it does, you'll have a lot of fun with this one. You do get plenty of help, however, through the aforementioned shops that are in each village, and a fly-through of each stage is meant to farm gold so you can buy stuff in these shops to help you get through the more difficult stages that lay ahead. The problem with this game, though, is that if you game over, you lose everything. All your gold and experience vanish into nothing, so that sucks. Also, there's, uh, no other game modes here, really. This is all this game is. Just talking to villagers and surviving through these rail shooter sections, picking up random power-ups and health upgrades, so either that's your thing or it isn't. There's one odd piece of trivia about this game that I'm not able to verify myself. It's that this game had a special cartridge made called Yum Yum Gold. It was apparently made as a prize for a competition, akin to the Star Fox and Donkey Kong Country competition cards, but this one was bundled with all sorts of goodies like long distance phone cards and signed artwork from the original artist. The kicker here is that only one copy of this cartridge was made, or at least that's the rumor, and yeah, I don't have any way to actually verify the existence of this cart, so if you happen to know anything, please post something in the comments. So yeah, I made this video just to let people know about this game and maybe draw some attention to it so that it might get an English translation one day. I tried my best to piece together what was going on, and yeah, I used the Google Translate app with my camera on my phone, but it doesn't work very well with pixelated and jagged looking text like this. Hey, maybe you might have better luck than me. Yamu Yum is a really interesting game with a lot of personality and a lot of good ideas, even if it comes across as a bit of a disorganized mess, translation or no. Once again, this game was never released outside of Japan and has hasn't been remade or ported anywhere, so this is another one that you've got to play any way you can. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day!